to another episode of Satisfactory Update 6, episode 19. Um, just so you guys know, I would probably pre-record a couple episodes in advance uh, this week. Coming up, I'll be a bit busy, so I'll pre-record some episodes for the next couple of weeks and do some editing. Um, he advised my schedule for for uploading satisfactory may change within the coming weeks due to work and stuff. Um, anyway, guys, let's get into this episode. If you guys remember, last episode was kind of corrupted, but yeah, this is what we did last episode, adding in four more oil refineries to produce the resin for plastic and rubber and also the byproduct of fuel which is going down for the trucks we do have an insane amount of fuel so this episode we're going to see if we have enough plastics for the um courts if not we are probably going to start working on getting stuff unlocked for the can on certain get getting stuff unlocked for the um they call that the power fuel power stations Are you freaking kidding me? Really? Stop! Alright, well, I guess I'm walking. Yeah, so... I had a bit of lag there. I don't know why. We're gonna start working on... That. I don't... It seems that we don't have enough plastic yet. Uh... But... I'm gonna start working on getting the fuel stuff done. As you can see that milestone, we just need a hundred computers, which we don't have yet. Uh, two hundred. Need for sign plates, which I'm heading for right now. I forgot I left my truck there. Yeah, 200 reinforced iron plates and 400 rubber. Rubber is backed by the main building, so I just run back with that. Don't run me over. I'm also going to do a bit of hmm, a bit of optimization when it comes to the ores we have here. We might actually do the overflow method. Uh, is this the no that's yeah, it's there, it's there. Just remember that's upstairs. And I don't even think I have the reinforced iron plates here. Not the reinforced iron plates, the um. Don't shred. It's automated, but it's currently being used to create the heavy modular frames. Uh, I don't need as much heavy modular frames, so I'm gonna pause these guys for a bit. I'm gonna pause the other one. And leave that for a while, let the um, stuff back up.
yeah um so i am going to work on optimizing for now optimizing the outputs well not the output the input of iron into the iron to point of factory just a bit of conveyor work Oh, let's start by deleting all his armor conveyors. <laughs> so before I had each um, smelter and stuff have their own. Their own. Um, drill. But now we're going to combine all the drills into one and make it a bit neater station to see it's already full of the first two almost in front of this third one just another the usual gradually overfill to the other one We also need to bump up our production of steel beams which is why I kind of optimize this so I can easily pull from the end splitter and continue the factory Yes, this is kind of exactly the same thing I did down by the um, power station. But with only one mine and a bunch of splitters. Okay, so the third, fourth one as well. It's now gonna send most of its resources, iron, over to the third one, the fifth. The one upstairs in the back is actually full already. I'll just wait to even out on these here, It'd take a while, but yeah. Mm. 
And let's go inside and see what we can do here to add to the production of steel. Well, we can't go out there, obviously. Could bring this section of the building across a bit more. Okay, let's see. Plan is to get a tree. Tree should be good. And uh, I'm gonna do the same overflow method with these guys so that there's not that, like a lack of stuff that's my explosives I mean just create this area here Well, I would do this the I have to run and check on the um if you will a time for wait missed one time for a big boom So we're going to expand that piece of the factory out a bit. Um, but before I do that, let me run up and empty the fuel tanks. For now, that's what we'd have to do. Empty the fuel tanks every couple of minutes. You got to back up the fuel. Um, I'm not sure I haven't actually gotten to the fuel power since a couple updates since like update 3 was the last time I actually played till I got fuel power I'm not sure if the fuel uses the canisters or if it uses the am I stuck here? Interesting. There you go. I could also flush the whole pipeline. You do still have some stored in there. I left some stored in there. Okay, no, I didn't. I just flushed the whole pipeline. I forgot. Right, so now that's uh, flushed out. I'm like, we're gonna run out of fuel for the trucks. Because they have like an insane amount right now. So we could afford to flush the fuel every so often to clear up the congestion. That should clear up the um, refiners that we added and they would continue producing plastics. Okay. 
I mean, back to what we were doing. We don't have to check on that here for a while now. I hope that the Listen, I hope that the um production I'm trying to figure out what my chin out there. Let me I went blank. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I was trying to see there before I went blank. Um, I hope that the production, the fuel power actually uses the liquid fuel and doesn't want me to actually kind of study fuels because that is going to be annoying. Even though I already do have canistered fuel, but no, it, it better has not.
Now the main um, output line is now marked three. All the supplies should be moving as fast as possible. As you can see this one is already packed because it drops from Mark three to three um, Mark ones at the end here. That's once packed. Uh, when I run in here, I should see. I don't think it's reached so wrong yet. That should bump up the production of beams now. Uh, the iron hasn't reached yet. Interesting. Should be here. There it is. There's a long stack of iron. Now we do already have beams going out. one line I know I see it going in but what the do I have any iron on me so what I could do you pressing the damn wrong button <laughs> I have one stack. What I can do here is I can stack this one up with that stack of iron that I have. Give this one the rest that I have. But it also starts producing so that some would actually reach over to that one. I may want to upgrade that belt to Mark II though. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that to Mark II. Do I have enough on me? Yeah, it should. Wait, that one should go back to Mark 1. I don't want that one to be a Mark 2. See a slight difference here. Yeah. It's already upgraded. Uh, let's run back to the supply line. See how we're doing on that one. Uh, ramp up in here. And it's on the top row. Nice. Oh, I fell. Alright. That. I knew I would have run over by the time I reached here. Um. We do have that down here. I just have to run to the second floor. up here oh that's on the other side this door is a bit janky just simply take the ladder or whatever grab some of that
Where the door for this part of the factory is down on that end. Okay, so there is some sort of a... What's going on here? Okay, that one has... Already emptied those two. Wow. Okay. These three are so full. That should bump it up a bit. These two are somewhat like it is supplying, but I there you go. And that was the issue. The um, Mark II drill needed a Mark II belt at least to pump out its drill capacity. There's still always some gaps when the rest of these guys pull off. But it's at least still getting on here. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This episode was more focused on uh, getting the reinforce, not a reinforce, um, in, in case industrial beams for the next milestone of fuel power. Uh, for the next upcoming bun next group of episodes would be pre-recorded. I probably would record those episodes tomorrow. Or later on the D. Hmm. And upload them early because of the fact that I am probably most likely going to be busy for the next couple of weeks. There you go. Should have the encased beams by the end of a. By the starting of next episode, we should have all the encased beams. We need 200 of them for the research. We have the rubber already. Next episode, we'll be focusing on getting the computers made. Or, well, actually setting up the computer factory to start making. We already have the circuit board factory, which is part of the stuff that we need for the computer factory. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys want to see more Satisfactory on the channel, 
you feel to drop a like at that subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I release really satisfactory every Saturdays. Most of my videos are pre-recorded. And guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.